Thanks for watching TCM. I'm Alicia Malone. Next in our Sunday lineup, we have the always fabulous Eve Arden in a role that she made famous. From 1956, directed by Al Lewis, it's Al Miss Brooks. Eve Arden had originated this role in a CBS radio series also called Our Miss Brooks. Arden had been acting in film since 1929. She made her debut in a Columbia movie called Song of Love, aged 21, and credited under her real name, Eunice Quedance. She renamed herself when she went to Broadway, returning to Hollywood as Eve Arden in the mid-1930s, and memorably starring opposite Ginger Rogers, Lucille Ball, and Catherine Hepburn in Stage Door for RKO Pictures. From there, Arden established her persona as a sarcastic, quick-witted and tough working woman, appearing in many movies throughout the 1940s. During that decade, she started to split her time between film and radio, and after the success of the radio version of Our Miss Brooks, Desi Lou Productions, owned by Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, decided to turn it into a TV show. The TV series ran from 1952 until 1956, with this film coming toward the end of the show's run, aimed to boost flagging ratings. Warner Brothers commissioned a script written by two of the TV writers, Joseph Quillen and Al Lewis, and it was created to stand apart from the radio and TV show so anyone not familiar with the story could follow along. Many of the original cast joined Eve Arden, who plays Miss Brooks. She's a new English teacher at Madison High School, who rents a room from the nosy Mrs. Davis, played by Jane Morgan, and is wooed by the biology teacher, played by Robert Rockwell. From 1956, enjoy Our Miss Brooks. Our Miss Brooks was released the same year the TV series and radio show came to an end. The film was quite different in tone to the TV and radio shows and didn't do well at the box office, though that may have been due to a lack of publicity by Warner Brothers who didn't really promote the film. Eve Arden had been playing Miss Brooks in one medium or another for almost 10 years and admitted she was a little relieved when it all came to an end because she was excited to try different roles and show more of her acting range. And she did, continuing to act for another 30 years following this movie. Okay, from Eve Arden to another comedic actress, Judy Holliday. Next on TCM, we'll watch a delightful musical from 1960 that features the dulcet tones of Dean Martin. Back soon. Next on TCM... Bells are ringing, then, what's up, Doc? And later, the Sugarland Express. TCM is full speed ahead, today. <laughs> 